This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Sometimes there is a requirement for you to actually add to your lookup table. Now this becomes massively easier if you've used named ranges. If you haven't used named ranges in your lookup tables, then you need to actually alter your formulas every time you add to the lookup table. So if we use the VLOOKUP extending table sheet, what you'll find is we have our expenses claim form here, and in our formulas, we've got a named range called destination. This named range refers to that table there. So it will take the destination you type in here, along to this lookup table, find the destination, and return the relevant values for the mileage, column four, for the parking, column three, for the lunch, column two. Now we have on the fifth, a new destination called New Jersey. This does not exist as yet in your destination table. Now we could just add it to the bottom. New Jersey, lunch value 35, parking 20, and mileage 2,370. Now just adding it to the bottom has no effect on our result because you can see it has filled in nothing still for the mileage, the parking, and the lunch. What we actually need to do, change the reference, the destination, so it includes this extra row. So if you go to Formulas and Name Manager, you'll find their destination is your named range, and down in the bottom, you can see the fixed reference that it refers to. So we can browse and actually highlight that extra row, the New Jersey row, turn back to the Name Manager, tick to make sure it accepts that change, and then close. And then you'll see Jersey has been filled in. So we've extended the named range. So if we were to come down to the destinations, adding another location, have Montreal. Now again, there's still nothing being returned here because Montreal doesn't exist in our lookup table. We can go add in Montreal, lunch, quite expensive up there, parking, and it's actually quite a distance. Again, that Montreal would need to be picked up by the named range. So that's to formulas on the ribbons, named manager. There's our named range. And we go and select so it increases its size. Now, personally, if you're likely to be adding to your lookup table quite frequently, I personally would make the lookup table a lot longer than it needs to be. You can see here I've highlighted a lot more rows. That way you're effectively future proofing yourself. So that's a little tick to accept that extension and then close. That way, when you want to add another value, you can just come along. In Clodville, you can get lunch for $5 and park for free and 2670 miles away. And then all we need to do is actually go there. So Clodville, notice it's not returned the value because it's got to be exactly the same. So it's double D. And then it returns the values across 2670, nothing for parking part there for nothing and then lunch is pretty free close to it at five dollars so that's extending the named range so that your lookup table effectively increases if you weren't using named ranges you'd actually have to go in and physically extend the size of the table in here so the cell references manually in the is na part of that and in there and then also in the parking formula and then also in the lunch formula and then take all three formulas and replicate them to the bottom. There's a lot more work if you reference the cells manually in your VLOOKUPs as opposed to using named ranges. Hopefully you will see that as one advantage of using a named range and it may convince you to start using named ranges. If not, at least you know that you can extend the size of your lookup table at any stage. But personally, if you're likely to be changing the lookup table, I would make the lookup table area a lot longer than it currently requires to be to give you some sort of future proofing really for the formulas.